Hello, good evening, Emma. Good evening, Cristina, Alexandra, Alejandra, and Carla. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening. I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm so sorry if you couldn't hear me, but it is raining so hard here where I live. Good evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Me confirma, por favor, si me pueden escuchar. Está lloviendo bastante fuerte aquí donde yo vivo. Sí, se puede escuchar. Sí, teacher. Sí, escucha. sí se escucha. Solo que yes. como que se estuviera gritando, pero se oye. Um, ok, ¿qué hay de la lluvia? ¿Pueden escuchar el ruido? Hello. No se escucha la bulla, solo ah, su okay. voz. Ah, ok, gracias, eso quería saber, por eso estaba gritando, porque como aquí está lloviendo, pues lo siento mucho entonces, de verdad, I'm so sorry. Well, let's start with the class. Welcome again to the class. Eh, thank you for being here with me tonight. Today we're going to study the simple past in interrogative form. Ya vimos verbos regulares, verbos irregulares, oraciones afirmativas y también negativas. Este día vamos a estudiar las oraciones interrogativas siempre en el pasado simple. Pero antes de eso, me gustaría que me dijeran cuál es el pasado de los siguientes verbos. ¿El siguiente verbo es regular o irregular? ¿Regular o irregular? Regular. Es irregular. ¿Y cuál es el simple past form de este verbo? Eight. Okay, eight, the simple eight. form is eight. So in present, I say, I eat pizza, for example. I eat pizza. In past, I say, I ate eight. pizza. Si quiero hacer esta oración negativa. I didn't, I didn't eat pizza. Okay, thank you so much. I didn't. I didn't eat pizza. Thank you. So we need to use didn't in the verb in its base form or in present. Ahora, si yo quiero hacer una pregunta, yo quiero saber, por ejemplo, si Edma comió pizza el fin de semana pasado. ¿Cómo hago una pregunta? Una yes, no question. ¿Alguien um, tiene una idea? Did Edma... Did Edma... Eat pizza uh, the last weekend. Ah, okay, that's excellent. So, necesito poner el auxiliar al inicio de la oración, ¿verdad? Did, el sujeto, did, Edma, y el verbo siempre va a ir en su forma base. Eat. Eh, eat. Pizza. Mm -hmm. eh, last weekend, el fin de semana pasado. Y no nos olvidemos del question mark. No nos olvidemos del signo de pregunta. Did Edma eat pizza last weekend? ¿Cuál sería una buena respuesta para esta pregunta? Yes, I did. Yes, she did. did. Yes, did o I didn't. Yes, ah, she okay. did. You say yes. Yes. Yes, she did. She did. Y la opción negativa sería no. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. No, she didn't. Excellent. Well, tonight we're going to study the WH word question in simple past. Let's go with tonight's topic. I can see that you remember this very well. That's great. Thanks a lot for this part. So let's go with tonight's presentation. Tonight also we are going to have a reading part. So that's why the topic. Weekend stories, that is the topic. Weekend stories, and we are going to have a reading right? in the second part of the class. That's why the topic, weekend stories. 
Welcome to the class number 11. So simple past information questions. ¿Cuáles son las information question words? O the WH word. ¿Se recuerdan de eso? When, where. Ah, ok. We have when is what. Where is another one. When, where. What. Ah, ok, excellent. What. And how. Yes, how. Any other? When, where, what, how? Any other WH word that you remember? Who teacher? Okay, excellent. Who? We have who. And also we have why. Okay. Why. When, where, what, who, why. Also which. Do you remember the meaning of every of these WH words? Let's see, for example, when. What is the meaning of when? When. When? When. Is it donde or cuando? Donde. Ah, okay. When. Cuando. When. <laughs> Okay, when is cuando? Cuando y where donde. What? Where? Que. Que. It has two meanings. Tiene dos significados. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Cuál en? ¿Qué en? ¿Y cuál? ¿Qué? ¿Qué y cuál? ¿How? ¿How? What's ¿Cómo? How? ¿Cómo? ¿En why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? ¿En which? ¿Cuál? Which también significa ¿Cuál? cuál ¿verdad? Pero ¿Cuál? which se utiliza ¿Cuál? cuando le dan dos opciones. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál quiere? El, uh, ¿La naranja grande o la pequeña? So, which one do you want? The small orange or the big orange? So, which one do you want? The blue one or the red one? ¿Quiere el azul o quiere la roja? Entonces, which, cuando tiene opciones. Entonces utilizamos which. Para hacer preguntas, with WH words in simple past tense, we need to follow this, this structure. We need the WH word at the beginning of the sentence. Then we are going to need the auxiliary did. Then the subject, the verb in present, complement, and the question mark. So look at the following example here. Let's see the next example. When did he leave? When did he leave? ¿A qué horas se fue? When, o ¿Cuándo se fue? ¿Cuándo se fue? When did he leave? Where did she go? Where did she go? ¿A dónde fue ella? What did you study yesterday? ¿Qué estudiaste ayer? Why did we cry? ¿Por qué lloramos? Why did we cry? ¿Por qué lloramos? Who did you visit yesterday? ¿A quién visitaste ayer? Now, let's see. In the first, when is the WH word? Auxiliary did. The subject is he. Live is the verb. We don't have complement in the sentence, so we have the question mark. When did he live? Where did she go? I have here WH word where auxiliary did subject and go, which is the verb. What did you study yesterday? So I have what WH word auxiliary did. You is the subject, studied the verb, and yesterday the complement and the question mark. So look at the answer. Look at the following answer here. I have because we lost the game. I visited my grandma. He left at 11 p.m. She went to the mall and I studied math and science. What is the answer for the first one? When did he live? What's the answer for the first question? 
he left at 11 p.m. Okay, that's excellent. Yes. He left at 11 p.m. Thank you. That is the right answer. ¿A qué hora se fue? Él se fue a las 11 p.m. Where did she go? Where did she go? She went to the mall. Okay, she went to the mall. It's excellent. She went to the mall. The next question, what did you study yesterday? I studied math I studied and science. Math. Math and science things. Why did we why did we cry? Because we lost the game. Because we lost the game. And it was the final game. So we couldn't be champions. So that's why. If who did you visit it yesterday? Who did you I, visit it yesterday? I, I visited, visited my, my grandma. grandma. Okay. So in this type of question, you can say yes. No, right? you have to get information. Mention. That's why the name, simple past information question. Mm -hmm. Para cada una de esas preguntas, usted tiene que dar información. Por ejemplo, where did you go today? ¿Dónde fue? ¿A dónde fue ahora? Salió de casa, where did you go? ¿A dónde fue? Then you say, I went to the I bakery. went to my work. I went to work. I went to the supermarket. I went to the supermarket. I went to the grocery store. I went to the gas station. So you give information. I... Tell me, tell me. I. I, I went, went to, to the restaurant. Okay, excellent. I went to a restaurant. Perfect. Now I need two volunteers to practice in this exercise. One to read the question and one to read the answer. Who wants to help me tonight? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer who wants to help me? Just two volunteers to practice. Nobody wants, then I'm going to choose somebody. I can see that you don't want to practice tonight. So let's choose. Da, 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 da. I'm going to choose Alejandra Guevara and Alexandra Milena. Can you tell me, please? Yes, Alexa? teacher. Okay, thank you. Can you please read the question, Alexandra? Okay. When did he live? Alejandra, can you help me with the answer? Oh. If no, if, oh, okay, Alejandra, please go ahead. Uh, when did uh, he live? Todo? Oh. Primero la pregunta, después la respuesta. La primera, when did he live? What is the answer? Uh, where did he live? Um, because we know the game. Um, okay, let's start again. Look, the question for the first one, when did he live? Is he left at 11 oh. p.m. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. Okay, well, they uh, left, um, he left at 12? 11 p.m. Oh, 11 p.m. Okay, next question, Alexandra, please. Where did she go? Okay, Alexandra, la respuesta a esa pregunta es, where did she go? She went to the mall. Okay. She went to the mall. I'm sorry. And what the next. You, what did you study, study yesterday? Alejandra, the answer is the last sentence. I study math and science. I study math and science. Thank you. Next question, please. Why did, Why we, did cry? we cry? Thank you. The answer is. Because we lost the game. Thank you. And the last question. Who did you, you visit yesterday? 
I visited my grand. Thank you so much. I visited my grand. Thank you. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank, Thank you, Alexandra. Okay. Well, don't, for, don't forget this structure. WH word, auxiliary verb, subject, verb in present, complement, and the question mark. Let's go. Okay. How fast can you answer the following question? Let's see. Number one, what did you cook yesterday? A ver, ¿quién la responde más rápido? What did you cook yesterday? I cook beans and eggs. Okay, excellent, Cristina. Very good. Second chance, what did you cook yesterday? I did cook pupusas. Oh, I cook pupusas, excellent. Third chance, what did you cook yesterday? What did you cook yesterday? So you say, I cooked, I cooked eggs, beans, bananas, I cooked. I cooked eggs I with cooked beans. Eggs with beans. Okay, Byron. Excellent. Second question. What did you eat for breakfast? What did you eat for breakfast? ¿Se recuerdan? What did you eat for breakfast? Um, I eat cream and beans. Okay. Thank you. But in past, what is the past form of it? Eight. Ah, okay. La oración sería. I ate. I ate. Um, cream. Uh, cream and beans. Ah, okay. Excellent. I ate cream and beans. Any other answer? What did you eat for breakfast? I ate a sandwich. Okay. I ate a sandwich. Excellent answer. The last answer for the question number two. What did you eat for breakfast? I ate. I ate uh, fruit. I ate fruit. Excellent. Let's go with the next. Number three. When did you last tell a lie? When did you last tell a lie? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que dijo una mentira? I never lie. <laughs> ah, okay, that's a good answer. Thank you. you don't remember? Okay. Any brave person in the class, let's say. Yes, it's a, I told a light a minute ago. I told a light <laughs> in the morning. Nobody? Ay, que sincero son no. todos. That's great. You are so sincere. <laughs> let's go with the next one. What did you have for dinner yesterday? ¿Quién se recuerda? What did you have for dinner yesterday? What did you have for dinner yesterday? You say, I had. I had dinner. No, I had uh, pupusas. Okay, that's excellent. I had pupusas. I had. I had beans. I had beans. I had chicken. I had meat. I had cheese. I had cereal. Bueno, no sé si alguien cenará con cereal. I'm sure. Yes. Yes? Oh, yes. I had fruit. Comí fruit. It's my and... favorite dinner. Ah, that's great. Uh, what did you watch on TV last weekend? What did you watch on TV last weekend? I watched uh, Palpito in, on the Netflix. Okay, very good. Any other answer? What did you watch on TV last weekend? And you answer in past. I watched. I watched. I watched mm -hmm. a movie. I watched a soap opera. No les gustan las novelas? What is your favorite? No? No. Okay. Teacher, ¿puede ser negativa la respuesta? 
Uh, for example, I was not didn't uh, watch me. Yes, you can use I was uh, my cell phone. Okay, that's excellent. So you say, I didn't watch TV. I watch my cell phone or I check my cell phone. Then you say, I didn't. I didn't watch TV last weekend. You can answer with a negative sentence. Thank you. How did you get to work today? ¿Cómo fue su trabajo el día de hoy? You say, I got to work by bus. I got to work by car. I got to work uh, driving. How did you get to work today? I go to work uh, driving. Okay. Any other answer? And the last one, what did you do yesterday? It's another information question. What did you do yesterday? Dos actividades que hizo ayer. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Who wants to help me with this? I cleaned my house. I cleaned my house. Thank you. I got early. I go. I I go. I go to. I go to work. <laughs> I went to work. I went to work. I went and now I went and cleaned the house. Okay, thank you. I cleaned the house. Very good. Okay, question number one is for, let me see, I'm going to choose Byron. Can you tell me please what did you cook yesterday, Byron? I am gone. I am in my house and I am going to the shopping mall. Okay, I went to the shopping mall. But question number one, Byron, question number one, what did you cook yesterday? I cooked eggs and beans. Okay, I cooked. I cooked with P sound. I cooked eggs and beans. Very good. Thank you. Carla Flores, what did you eat for breakfast today? I eat my breakfast uh, sandwich. Okay, thank with you. With coffee. Ah, excellent. So you have two sentences there. You say, I ate a sandwich and I drank coffee. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I ate a sandwich and I drank coffee. Thank you, Carla. Uh, let's see, Kenya. When did you last tell a lie? Can you say, I told a lie yesterday. I told a lie one hour ago. When did you last tell a lie? Okay, Juan, can you tell me, please? When did you last tell a lie? Uh, I don't remember, teacher. Ah, okay, that's a I good answer. I told a lie in the morning. Okay, thank you. I told a lie in the morning. Let's go with Cristina del Carmen. What did you have for dinner yesterday? Um... I have uh, eggs and beans. Okay, excellent. Rebecca Orellana, what did you watch on TV last weekend? Then Karen Lobo, can you help me? What did you watch on TV last weekend?
Ana Margarita. Can you tell I watch. I watch in the movie. Okay, excellent. I watch a movie. Thank you. Okay, let's go with the next. This is an exercise. You have to organize the following pairs with yes. I'm going to take out these. Give me a second. Okay. Organize the following verbs according to the correct ID pronunciation. Vamos a ordenar los siguientes verbos de acuerdo a la pronunciación de la ED final, ¿verdad? En cada uno de ellos. Todos ellos son verbos regulares. Recuerde que hay tres pronunciaciones. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Quién se acuerda? Los tres sonidos. T, D, I, D, I, D. Ok. T, D, N, I, D. Sería T, D, N, I, D. So, for the sound, ¿cuáles verbos son para el siguiente sonido? T, sound at the end. Sí. Wait. Okay, you say wait. We are going to discover it in a minute. Decided. Decided. Wait. No. No, Blanca. Start it, teacher. Start it. Start it. I know. Sorry. We have loved. Invite. Arrived. 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 No, see. Invite. Invite. Invited? Invited. Ah, okay. I'm going to pronounce this word. I'm going to do my best for you to listen. So I have loved, waited, liked, decided, called, enjoyed, relaxed, started, kissed, smiled, invited, and arrived. <laughs> relaxed, kissed. Ah, oh, relaxed, kissed, 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 kissed. Okay, let's see kissed. which are they. I have light is the first one. Light, relaxed, relaxed. 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 kissed. kissed. No, now, with this sound, with this sound at the end, loved. Love, uh, loved, love, like it. Oh, no, no, no. Decide. Okay, decided, decided. Smile, arrived, I smiled, arrived. Call you. Oh, which one? Call, call. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Call, cold. Oh. Okay, Cold. let's see. Love. Cold. Cold. Enjoy. Enjoy. Smile. Smile. And arrive. But I didn't write it. I'm sorry. Then with it, sound. Arrive. Wait it. Excited. Wait it. Wait. I have waited. Yes. Decided. 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 Invited. Invited. Started and invited. Okay, excellent. Yeah, is it easy or difficult? Do you have to remember the rules, right? With birds, we are going to pronounce with sound, with d sound, or with ear sound. So let's go with the next. Error correction. In the following exercise, you have to correct the mistake. Every sentence has some mistake and you have to tell me which are they. Let's see, for example, number one. Paulina didn't sound very well. What's wrong in this sentence? Um, the bird teacher. 
Oh, the bear. Why? Why the bear? Can you explain to me, please? Sam, uh, when you can use it during uh, change the verb in present. Ah, that's that's a great explanation. Thank you so much, Juan. So Paulina didn't sing very well. It's the right answer. Thank you. Let's see the second one. Mike wears a beautiful jacket on his birthday. What's the mistake in the sentence? Mike wears a beautiful jacket on his birthday. Word. Word. Why did, word? Did falta. Ah, did this miss him? Are you sure? It. Okay, in the first one it was sun. Now in the second one you say the verb is the mistake. And you are right, it's the verb. But it doesn't need didn't or did. Está en pasado, teacher. It is in past. Um, tiene que ser en, por, yeah. Oh, very good try, but let me tell you what's the mistake in this sentence. I have a child here in the school, but then on the uh, Okay, Rebecca, don't worry. Uh, let me see, let me show you why it's grand. Do you remember about regular and irregular birds? So here the mistake is that where is an irregular verb. Le ponemos ed a los verbos irregulares. Say no, teacher. No, right? And then it's word. My word, a beautiful jacket on his birthday. That was the mistake. But very good try. Thank you. Let's go with number three. What is the mistake on number three? Sentence number three. Where did you found that money? What's the mistake in the sentence? Where did you found that money? Hello, are you there? Where did you found that money? ¿Dónde encontraste ese dinero? Mm -hmm. ¿Está mal en la oración? ¿O está correcta? Es como ahí por el verbo pasado y tengo la auxiliar. Ah, ok, that's excellent. Where did you found that money? So, in a question, the verb must be in its base form. In su forma base sin conjugar. So, where did you find that money? Excellent. Let's go to the next. Did Oscar Wilde write many novels? El verbo. Verbo. Ah, again, the verb. Tiene que ser right. Excellent. Albert didn't drink any alcohol. Drink. It must be drink. Excellent. It must be drink in the sentence. Okay. Let's go with the next. Okay, look at this question. What did you have for breakfast this morning? What was the last meal you saw? Who did you last talk to on the telephone? What did you last read? What time did you go to bed last night? What did you watch on TV last night? What was the last photograph you took? When did you last see the sea? What did you buy yesterday? What was the last meal you cooked? ¿Hay alguna que no sepa la traducción correcta? Thank you. 
What did you have for breakfast this morning? That is the first one. What was the last film you saw? ¿Cuál fue la última película que vio? Who did you last talk to on the phone? Or the telephone? ¿Quién fue la última persona, verdad? Who is asking for a person? What did you last read? ¿Qué fue lo último que leyó? What time did you go to bed last night? ¿A qué horas? Se fue a dormir anoche. What did you watch on TV last night? ¿Qué vio anoche en la tele? What was the last photograph you took? ¿Cuál fue la última foto que tomó? When did you last see the sea? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que vio el mar? What did you buy yesterday? ¿Qué compró ayer? And what was the last meal you cooked? ¿Cuál fue la última comida que cocinó? So, number one, uh, I'm going to choose, let's see, Edma. Can you please choose one of your classmates and ask one of these questions? Hey, teacher. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Uh, ¿Quién escogió, perdón? Um, a Karen. Okay, Karen. ¿Cuál de estas? Hágale dos preguntas de las que están ahí. Yo le pregunto, teacher. Yes. Okay. okay. What do you have for breakfast this morning? Karen, what do you have for breakfast this morning? Okay, Karen, we understand. Don't worry. So, Juan, can you answer the question, please? Okay. I ate 80, teacher. I ate? I ate a coffee. Oh, I drank and coffee. cookie. Ah? I drank coffee. Ah, I drank coffee and ate, I cookies. ate cookies. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, Juan, uh, choose one question and choose a classmate to us. Okay, Edma. Uh, <laughs> okay. What did you what did you last read? I I read the Bible. Okay, excellent. Excellent answer. Mm, let's see. Karen Lopez. Ah, you say that it's raining. Yes? Yes. Uh, okay, now Byron. Choose yes, two questions. Choose two questions and ask to Carla Flores, please. <clears throat> okay. What was the last photograph you took? Mm. I did, sorry, teacher. Uh, the last photograph I took was? I was. I was. Um, I oh, was. You, no, you say it was a it photograph. It was a photograph. Um, of my mom, of my dad, or it was a selfie. It was a selfie. Ah, okay, very good. It was a selfie. Second question, Byron, to Carla, please. When did you last see the sea? Okay, excellent. I did. I did a seat in. In the month May. Okay, so you say, I saw. I saw. I saw the sea. The sea. Oh, in May. In May, correct. Excellent, thank you. I saw the sea on, sorry, in May. In, in May. May. Any other volunteer to ask a question? Me, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Only say the question. Uh, choose one of your classmates. Okay. Uh, 
um, um, Fatima. Okay, ask the question. Fatima, can you listen us? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. what, what time did you go to bed last night? Tengo que responder la pregunta, ¿cierto? Yes, mm -hmm. ¿a qué hora se fue a la cama anoche? ¿A qué hora se durmió anoche? Then you say, I went to bed. I went, I went to bed at 10, 10 okay. p.m. O'clock p.m. I went to at bed 10 at 10 o'clock or 10 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Thank you. So as you can see, all of them are information questions. Todas ellas son in preguntas de información. And let's see. I have here some answer for this question. For the first one. What did you have for breakfast this morning? So you say, I had beans, cream, and cheese. For the second one, what was the last film you saw? I saw a Spider-Man far from home. Uh, who did you last talk to on the telephone? I talked to my mom. What did you last read? I read Harry Potter books. What time did you go to bed last night? You say, I went to bed at 11.30. What did you watch on TV last night? I watched a movie. What was the last photograph you took? I took a selfie. When did you last see the sea? I saw the sea two years ago. Uh, what did you buy yesterday? I bought a candy. What was the last meal you cooked? I cooked roasted chicken. So those are my ideas. Right? So information question. They are asking for information. Do you have any question in this part? No questions? No. Okay. No. Just remember, right? Si la pregunta está en pasado, usted tiene que utilizar ese verbo. Por ejemplo, la primera, what did you have? What did you have? So you have to answer in past. I had beans, cream, and cheese. What was the last meal you saw? And you say, I saw Spider-Man. Or you can say, it was Spider-Man. Who did you last talk? The verb here is talk. Talk to on the telephone. De ese verbo para responder lo pasa pasado. De su forma. En pasado, I talk to my mom. Read is the same, right? The pronunciation is like a cambia. Read, read. I read Harry Potter books. What time did you go to bed? The, the verb is go. So you say, I went. I went to bed. What did you watch on TV? So you say, I watched. What was the last photograph you took? So the verb it was, was the verb to be. So it was. Or the very took, you say, I took a selfie. Or it was a selfie. When did you last see the sea? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que vio el verbo de sí? Entonces, ¿qué responde en pasado? I saw the sea two years ago. And here, in the next question is by, then you say, I bought a candy. The last, what was the last meal you cooked? So you say, it was a rusty chicken, or I cooked rusty chicken. Any questions? No questions? Okay, let's see. These are some five simple questions about your last vacation. Number one, where did you go on your last vacation? Where is asking for a place? ¿A dónde fue la última vacación? Any volunteer to answer this? I went to the beach. Okay, excellent. So here, the verb is go in this question. So where did you go on your last vacation? Then you say, I went. I went to the beach. Any other answer? 
any other answer. Okay, let's see the next one. What did you do there? Now the question is, what did you do there? ¿Qué, qué hiciste ahí? ¿Qué actividades realizó? What did you do there? So, si fue a la playa, como Cristina, se dice, I swam, I ate fish, I took the sun, yo nadé, comí pescado, tomé el sol, but... You can answer, how much money did you spend? So another information question, ¿cuánto dinero gastó? So you say, I spent $100. I spent $2,000. I spent $25. Who did you go with? Now, who is asking you for a person? ¿Quién lo acompañó? ¿Quién fue con usted? Who did you go with? Then you say, I went with my family. I went with my friends. I went with my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my wife, my husband, my kid. How many days did you stay there? Now, how many? La pregunta de información. ¿Cuántos días estuvo ahí? How many days did you stay there? And you say, I stayed there one day. I stayed there two days, three days, etc. Let's go with the next party. These are some simple past questions about parties. When did you go to a party? Do you remember that? Cuando fue a una fiesta? When is asking for time? Cuando? So I went say, a party in February. Okay, excellent. I went to a party in February. Thank you. Who did you go with, Christina? I went to my family. Okay, I went with my family. With my family. How did you get there? Como llegó a la fiesta? By bus, by bus, by, uh, by car. Okay. How many people attended the party? A million people. <laughs> Too mm. much people. <laughs> Too much people. You say yes. a lot of people. A lot, a of, lot people. of people. What did you eat or drink there? I. Um, the answer is in the in the past tense, right? Yes. I drunk. Yes. A beer. I, <laughs> one I drank, beer. Okay, I drank one beer. Mm -hmm. And water too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what did you eat? I ate uh, beans, chicharrones. Okay. With tortilla. Pork, pork and tortillas. Mm -hmm. Very good. So any volunteer to answer this set of questions? Who wants to participate and practice tonight? When did you go to a party? How did you go? Who did you go with? How did you get there? How many people attended the party? And what did you eat or drink? No volunteers tonight? Nobody wants? Okay, thanks. Let's go with the next. Uh, read and answer the question. We are going to read this. Any volunteer to read this paragraph? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. okay, thank you, Cristina. Let's listen to Fatima, please. Do it, Fatima, please. Okay. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looks fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a, a, a wonderful meal. 
I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Okay, thank you so much. So first question, did she have an awful weekend? So let's really say I have a, a great weekend. No, she uh, didn't. No, she didn't, right? Thank you. I went to my best friend's mm -hmm. Helen wedding. What is a wedding? Boda. Oh, it's una boda. She got married at home. ¿Dónde se casó? En la casa. En casa. All mm -hmm. her friends and family mm -hmm. went. Well, next question. Where did she go? Kelly, ¿dónde fue Kelly? ¿A dónde fue Kelly? Where did she go? Um, she went to, went to her went. best friend's wedding. Okay, excellent. She went to her best friend's wedding. Did Helen look fantastic? Yes, she, yes, she did. She yes, she did. Yeah, Excellent. She did it. Where did Helen get married? <clears throat> ¿Dónde se casó? Where did Helen get married? Her house. She, ma she married in her home. House. Okay, at her home. So they, who did serve the food? Quien, quien sirvió la comida? Who did sell the food? Her parents. Her parents. Her, her, parent. Parent. her parents. Okay, here are the answers. Look at this. Did she have an awful weekend? Yes, she did. Where did she go? She went to her best friend's wedding. Did Helen look fantastic? Yes, she did. Where did Helen get married? She got married at her home. And the last one, who did serve the food? Helen's parents served the food. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Okay. Second, second reading. Let's listen, listen and follow the reading, please. Robert. Can you listen the audio? Yes. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Okay, question about vocabulary there. No hay vocabulario nuevo? That's great. Let's go with the first question. Did Robert have a good weekend? No, a, he didn't. It's a yes, no question. Very good answer. No, he didn't. Who did he go to the concert with? She went her with his friends. Okay, he went with his friends. Yes. What time did he get home? What time did he get home? A la una. <laughs> A la una. Three or two driving. Three. Three. Three hours, a la six. Ten, ten. 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 This morning. 
Did the car break down? Yes, he did. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. Here are the answers. Did Robert had a good weekend? No, he didn't. Who did he go to the concert with? He went with his friends. What time did he what time did he get home? He got home at 10 this morning. And the last one, did the car break down? Yes, it did. Robert. I have let's go with the next one. Erin. She's Erin. Let's listen. Follow Aaron. the reading, please. Follow the reading. Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. First question, how did she get to the campsite? How did she get to the campsite? ¿Cómo llegó al lugar de acampar, al campamento? She, she drove to the okay. campsite. So, she drove to the campsite. What did she do at the camp? She cooked dinner. Excellent. She cooked dinner. And told stories. And told stories. Did she catch a fish? She. Did she yes, catch a she fish? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, did she, she did. like camping? Mm, don't like. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. How was her weekend? Interesting. It was interesting. So she dropped the campsite. That is the first answer. She put up the tent. She built a fire, she cooked dinner and told stories. Todas esas actividades hizo. And number three, did she catch a fish? No, she didn't. Did she like camping? Uh, no, she didn't is the answer. And the last one, how was her weekend? She had, had an a, interesting weekend. She had an interesting weekend. Thank you so much. Now look at this. All of them are information questions. Well, not all of them, but how is one? What is the other one? Did is a yes no question. Number four is a yes no question. And the last one, how was her weekend? It's an information question. Do you have any question about tonight's class? Questions? In this class, we learn how, how to make information questions. Ask and answer. No questions for tonight? Then please don't forget about the platform exercises, right? You have to finish the section number four during this week. If you can, you can start section number five. And also you can take the final exam, right? No problem with that. So thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help and your participation. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow you. at 8 o'clock. Bye bye. See you guys. tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.